Hello everyone, this is Detective DHC, welcome to the DHC Network, and today we are back with another Let's Play on L.A. Noir. We are still on the Homicide Desk, and we're going to begin case number 15, the Quarter Moon Murders. So it, it, it feels like this is probably the last um, Homicide uh, case, cause, but this one's going to be different, most likely, because I don't think there's not a lot much action besides um, finding clues. So, and before I start, if you notice a lot of editing on this video, it's because if the video becomes way too long, I have to edit a lot of parts out. So, um, I think that's all I gotta say. So, furthermore, enough of talking, let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? The Quarter Moon Murders. Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. All right, then it's time for me to look, examine these cards. Let's examine this one. One else but the killer can't knew about this can't message. BD can't find me where I hid myself. All right, let's look at the real red notebook. All right, let's take a look. Further investigate. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot to go. All right, what's next? Let's go to that top piece of paper. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. And let's put it down. That's this is all if the note is from the Dahlia Maniac. He definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrells and murder, not to mention the Moloch. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this rhyme was too good to be on. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed... What does he want? Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay, it's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Okay, so um, it looks like we're, we're gonna solve these black, black Dahlia um, clues. So this one is pretty much different because hey, I want to make homicide. I was gonna I say, so this is different compared to the all those other cases we're doing. Yeah, so I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down one round. Okay, where's the exit again? Are we at a whole new police station? Oh no. No. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm good. I'm out. I thought I was gonna be stuck. All right, there's the exit. Oh, it did change for some reason. All right, where's Rusty? You know the way. You can drive. Come on, Rusty, on the double. All those cases, Rusty. What have I been telling you all along? We've got to get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. The department is not going to take responsibility for all those bad convictions. Success is a double-edged sword. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with. Pershing Square, 2.50 p.m. This place looks so familiar. Remember this place? Remember we chased that one um, criminal in the patrol desk? All right, now we're gonna climb our way up there now. Yep, we're climbing up. And... Better you than me, Phelps. Now we found two pieces of clues. 
Let's check the next piece of the letter. You know the local hobo used that as a latrine. There is a cave, all overgrown with trailing odorous plants which curtain out the day. Where next? All right, let's look at the other piece. Let's check it out. Social security. Short, very short. Black Dahlia. Oh. Elizabeth Short Social Security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. Can you work it out? You got a city map? See if you can work out where he's taking us. I don't like this freak leading us around by the nose. The the Use the map to study landmarks and set destination. Alright, so, oh yeah, you guess this is the first time I'm showing you the map, so... This is the map of Los Angeles. We're looking at the landmarks. Okay, let's see which one's the landmarks. Landmark locations, we got found with a camera. If I remember, I think it's, um, what's it called? Which one is this one? Christ Town of Intolerance Set, LA Public Library. Okay, which is the next one? So we're gonna look for landmarks here. So this the this Los Angeles back in 1950s. Here's the one we gotta go. Hall of Records. We're going here now. All right, let's go to the Hall of Records. So that's our next place to go. Uh, let's go. Come on, Rusty, hurry up. You're behind the wheel. Come on, Rusty, let's go. God, he's so lazy. You know, he's funny too, but he's more of a lazy partner. I do miss the fun Brokowski. Him. It's really him. Fucking killed the Dahlia. Can you believe this? He's leading us. It's his game, Rusty. He may want someone to catch him, but he's extremely dangerous. I doubt if he will give up easily. Suits me down to the fucking ground. We clip this fuck and we get citations. <laughs> what a day to be a cop. Council Pusher Parker will be able to shove me aside after this. Hall of Records, 2.59 p.m., which is 3. Alright, let's go inside the Hall of Records. Wow, look at this place. Can I help you, sir? All right, let's talk to the security guard. Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. All right, then, so let's go ahead and climb up to the chandelier. Okay, that's so now we're gonna go to. It's kind of weird where they put this, these clues at first the fountain, now the chandelier. Kind of weird. Alright, we're looking for a ladder now. Maintenance, there we go. Is there a ladder around here? Yes, it is. He co found it. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, we gotta make our way here. Careful. Going out there, Rusty. All right, here we go. Better you than me. Be careful. Whoa. Good. Careful. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall off. Nice and easy. Whoa. Uh, did I lose my hat? Yeah, I lost my hat. I'll pick it up later. Oh my ah. god. This <laughs> I didn't even touch it. I don't know what just happened. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. All right, we gotta keep it going. Oh man, it's not looking good. Come on, we're almost there. I cannot. I gotta make it before I fall off again. Oh, oh no! Oh man, this gonna be this gonna be complicated. Come on, let's go. At least, 
At least get some more distance. Halfway. Come on, let's go. Come on, Cole. You got this. We're almost there. Come on, we're almost there. Crane could do better than this. We made it. We're good. We're good. We found two pieces of clues. Here we go. Still got the watch. Deirdre Muller's missing watch. Oh, shit. This leads up to the old the clues we did in the past. Let's look at this piece. On the temple's high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculptures and posy. Where have I seen that? Oh, right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, no. That's not good. Jesus Christ. Pull it off that goddamn thing. Find a rope, Rusty. All right, come on, let's go. You have to swing that thing from side to side. Get it over the edge, then jump for it. All right, we gotta swing this thing before this thing breaks. Swing, damn it. Where do I swing at? Come on, come on. I swing too rusty. You're gonna go any second. Swing that goddamn thing and jump for it. I'm on it. Come on, rusty. And I made it. Nice. That was too close. Yeah, well, the higher you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No. A yellow gold wristwatch. A molar dame. Yes. And a scrap of the poem. Another location, if I can work it out. All right, let's go ahead and decipher the third um, excerpt. Now the next place we got to go to... I'm going to make this quick for you guys. It's going to be the L.A. Public Library. All right, let's go to the public drive. library. He keeps mementos from all his victims. This guy needs to be taken out of circulation. He takes pleasure at stringing us along, demonstrating how much smarter he is. He can enjoy it while it lasts. Got you now, genius. We're coming for you. L.A. Public Library, 3.30 p.m. All right. I'm pulling rank here, Cole. I'm not hauling myself up there. All right, then. So it looks like it's the next... down anyway, old-timer. <laughs> Damn, it's true. Rusty, he is, he is, um, dead weight to call Phelps, so let's make our way up. Alright, now we're gonna make our way on top. Onto the very, very top of the building. I remember, I think if I remember on my stream when I got to this point, I think I kept falling off. I forgot exactly where exactly. Now we're gonna make our way up now. There must be a ladder or a pole somewhere. Or there must be somewhere to climb. Alright, then there's some there's a ladder here. Let's go ahead and make, make our way up. Come on, Alright, we're good. So I think this may be the fastest case, or it could possibly be the longest. Come on, we gotta get to this point. Oh, just like the chandelier, this one, there's gonna be a lot of these little... Whoa. Come on, Phelps. Come on, Train could do a better job than this. For those who know who Train was, he was the, the main character of Mark Echoes Getting Up. I did a Let's Play on it, like, a couple of weeks ago. Well, I kind of started back in September, just finished it last month, so. Uh, check that video out. I'll post the link down in the description or place the playlist at the end of this video, so. Alright, let's go. Alright, you gotta make this quick. All right, let's go ahead and climb up up here. I just hope there's no more um, jumps or... Oh, yep. Oh, man. We're almost there. It's this part that messes me up. And now the clue music is nearby. 
All right, come on, let's go. Come on, I gotta make it. Come on, Phelps. Let's go. We're almost there. Got it. Sometimes a step backwards is a step in the right direction. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's right. Phelps is right on that one. So, let's go ahead. There is a way up, but it's an, an, alternative, um, an alternative pass. Let's go ahead and climb up. But there's any. There must be something to climb up. Uh, I don't think so. But I think we do have to go back down. But where exactly does it take us, though? Oh, there is a ladder. Yep. I guess Cole was right. I guess it does take us to go back uh, another forward, so. Man, there's a lot of parkouring, but we're not chasing anyone. Yep, we made it. The very top of the building. We'll find some clues. Alright, we found some stuff here. What is this piece right here? Our Lady of Guadalupe, ripped from Antonia's necklace. Oh yeah, I remember this from the last, from one of the older cases. Man, I'm not gonna lie, though. I'm gonna say this has the best interesting um cases, as you relate to the Black Dahlia. Round which death laughed, sepulchred emblems of dead destruction, ruin within ruin. So this is a treasure hunt. Not quite. Not really is a treasure hunt. I don't think we're gonna find actual treasure, so. Let's don't keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, let's go. And what is it this time? The religious medal from the Maldonado case. The Dahlia, Moeller, Maldonado. When this gets out. We still have to find the guy, Rusty. Another poem. Well, you must have some idea, right? Come on, Phelps. We're on a roll here. Don't let me down. Isn't he the cop who won a medal? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. We're gonna catch hell for this. Banging up innocent men. The newspapers will crucify the guy. They won't have time to wonder about our mistakes. We'll be okay, Rusty, as long as we catch the guy. I hope you're right, Cole. We'll be famous if we make this case. Westlake Tar Pits, 4.10 p.m. This place is probably, uh, I'm not sure if it still exists today, but that is not water. It's more like goo or something like that. And now from over here, we gotta make it to the other side without dying. And also, I apologize for not talking earlier because I was explaining on where to go. So, yeah, I, I apologize for that because um, I don't know why. But uh, here we are. We're at the west side. These are my best shoes, Phelps. I'll leave you to it. Freaking Rusty. That is so lazy. He's helpless. Very funny. Yep, Rusty is so lazy. That's why, he, you know, he's funny at times, but I don't consider it to be one of my. F Whoa! We gotta hurry up, though. Gotta move on. All those boards are sinking. You want to end up like the other fossils? All right, then we're gonna keep an eye on this. So we gotta follow this trail. If you guys can barely yeah, see it, it's a. Around, so. Can you see it through the car? Yeah, so you can see the, the way. Oh, just follow this um, walk board. There. I'd be doing better if you were the one trying to get across this thing. I know, right? Rusty's so lazy. 
Uh, pretty soon after this this game is fully completed, guys. Oh, I have a, I got a good another. Steady. It's more of a top five video, but it's more like a a worst to best video. And this time we're gonna work on partners, so stay tuned for that. But once this game is fully completed, because I've really come up with really good ideas for now, more bro. content. That's at the forefront of my thinking. All right, we're almost there, and we are Easy. here. See, Rusty could have done that. All right then, now let's look for some more clues around here. Where can we find them at? Is that the other shoe from the the last case? Okay, what are we looking at? Almost there. Got it. One of Teresa Terrelson's shoes. Yep. It's from the last case. And let's take a look at this piece of paper. A sphere which is as many thousand spheres. Okay. Where to now? Alright then. Okay, I know this was the easiest clue. I know exactly where. The art museum. Let's get out of here, so... What is it? An open-toed white shoe, and another stands up from the column. Oh, I really thought that hobo bum did the perils and bra. Confessions from the insane aren't the most credible evidence, Rusty. Is this thing over? It's all part of his power over us, making us run round all over the city for the crumbs he's leaving us. So if we keep this up, we can find the guy? All right, so looks like we're going to the art museum. So let's go ahead and head over there right now. But first, let's mark it on the map because we gotta mark it first before we head off. So let's look for the art museum. Where's it at? LA County Art Museum. This is the place. Not far from here. All right, let's go. So yeah, basically the clues can be hard, but can I, I can't remember one? everything. Come on, Rusty, hurry up. Uh, on the double. Well, this guy looks out for women in bars who've had too much to drink. Who are emotionally disturbed. Need a shoulder to cry on, he plies them with booze. Probably offers them a lift home. Then beats their brains out and strangles them. Could be any schmo hanging out in a bar. No, not anyone. He displays the bodies, leaves us messages. For all the violence, it's very controlled behavior. The LA County Art Museum, 6 o'clock p.m. Yep, I remember this, the maze. This one you can easily lose into. I think that's where the court center is based on, if I'm correct. All right, this way to maze. Let's follow the let's follow the arrow. On it goes. What do you think we'll reach the end of this thing? All right, let's follow that maze. I think it's somewhere over here. Let's jump over this hedge. I just try to remember the the the. Okay, I see up ahead. Let's go over here. Now we need to find the entrance to it. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, Phelps. The center of the proverbial labyrinth. How long is a piece of string? How many unsolved murders have we got in this city? You have good questions. So here we go. Here's the maze. You ever been in here, Galloway? No. I have no intention of going in. I heard that thing's tricky. I'm gonna wait here and have a quiet smoke. Think about hidden meanings. Freaking Rusty, that dude's so lazy, man. I wish it was Stefan Burkowski, man. Alright, so if I can't find my way out there, I'm gonna chop a lot this part out and until we get to the center. Cause the maze is gonna take a while, so I guess um I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, I finally found the way to here. It took me a while. At least it took me at least like 10 minutes. It, 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 it's so crazy. This maze is complicated as hell. So we found our next clue. Alright. 
A ring. Once belonging to Celine Axford Henry. Yeah, remember that. Yep. It's kind of. I like it how it relates to the old cases from this desk. All right, what's the last poem says? Thrones, altars, judgment seats, and prisons. No, it couldn't be. I think I know where this one is, if I could figure it out. Oh, thank goodness, I want to make our way back. See? That was easy. I found Celine Henry's ring. How far does this thing go? How did we not catch this nut job? All right, decipher the six excerpts. So the next place we're going to go to is the uh, intolerance set. The question is, where is it? I was, that's what I'm trying to look. What is this place? Um, hidden vehicle. Okay, I didn't know that's actually a thing. Where's Shire Police? Say? That's where the um, traffic desk is at. All right, let me see if we can find it. Hmm. Intolerance set. No, that's not it. This is the. Yep, found it. That's the place we gotta go to. So let's head back to the car and get the hell out of here, man. That I would not want to go back there again. That's a complicated. It took me ten minutes to figure it out. Unless I, I unless I go to areas I've never been to. So yeah, let's go ahead and head back and head to the intolerance set. See what we're looking for. All right, let's go. You know the way. You can drive. Good thing not to look through the notebook no more. He's leaving us this trail of evidence. Why? Vanity. He wants to see if there's anyone out there smart enough to catch him. He leaves us evidence, but every location is a trap. He's testing us, physically and mentally, to see whether we are worthy of him. The Titan guy, who had the stouse with God. Very good. You thinking about reading some Shelley? Hmm. All that egghead stuff? <laughs> uh, I'm sticking to the funny papers and the form guide. You sleep better at night. Movie set, 7.30 p.m. There's a throne up there. Now it's just a matter of getting a feel. Alright then, so let's go to the fallen pillar. And let's go ahead and find the gate. All right, let's go ahead and head up here now. Let's take the stairs. And then, once we make our way up, then we should find the next clue, I believe. And I think there's one area to wobble your way. Yeah, it's this area we gotta go to. Jesus, now look what you did. Hang on, Cole, I'll get you off. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's try that again. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, that's so funny. Jesus, now look what you're doing. Come on, come on, let's go. Paul, get you off of there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We're gonna make our this one's gonna be this one's gonna be challenging. Jesus, now look what you did. Hang on, Paul, I'll get you off. Come of on! There. <laughs> oh no, we're not gonna skip it. I'm trying to get. We gotta get to this. Jesus, now look what you did. Hang on, Paul. I'll get you off of there. All right, we gotta stay balanced or something. Keep the platform balanced until Gallagher can help. Okay, we gotta keep it balanced. That's what we gotta do. Okay. All right, um, keep it, keep it going. 
got to make it to the next platform. Get that thing as close as you can, then jump. All right, let's go. Made it. Ooh, that was actually a tricky one. But sure was funny as hell when Cole fell screaming. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> All right. All right. Enough. Enough of. Enough fully around. It's serious stuff. We gotta finish this detective work. All right. Is there a way to climb up? Hmm. Not quite. There's nothing over here. Let's go. Wait. That platform that Rusty saved. Can I go? Oh, there's a ladder. Let's head down. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're here. And the clues should be somewhere right here. There they are. All right, so let's look and look at what's this over here? It looks like a marble. An E. Typewriter ring. Evelyn Summers. This one, the previous case that we got them from the last video. Let's read the letter. Place he calls home. End of the line. Wow. All right, that's it. Uh oh. Gotta hurry up. Right, let's get out of here. Oh no 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 no! We gotta keep running. Come on, come on, folks. We're almost there. Oh uh, no! We're good. We made it. We're safe. Ooh, close one. I thought the whole thing was gonna come crashing down on. I thought so too. He murdered Evelyn Summers, Rusty. The last trophy was her ring. You find another piece of the poem? Yes. The last piece. You sure, Cole? Let's find out. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and um, solve the, the the final one. So, what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna locate the Christ Crown of Thrones. So it's another landmark, Pershing Square, LA Public Library, Hall of Records, Union Station, El Pueblo de Los Angeles. This one, where did I find it at? I know it could be somewhere around here. Uh, let me see. I need, I need to zoom in. There we go. That's better. Hidden vehicle. Where can it be at? We're going to look for that place at. I forget where it was. Because it's been a long time since I last played this game. This map is actually huge. There it is. It's not far from here. There it is. The Christ Crowns of Thrones. Let's head over there right now. You're behind the wheel. It should be easy. Abandoned church in Perth, Perth, BD, 734 p.m. This place gives me the creeps. All right, new location, abandoned church. In All right, let's head straight to the, um, let's go ahead and get inside, see what we can find. Oh, it says it's not right about this place. Let's get our guns out. Reminds me of my days as an altar boy. There's a light coming from the house. Nothing hasty, gentlemen. Keep your hands where I can see them, or I'll be forced to redecorate the stucco with your entrails. We're from the LAPD, sir. I'm going to tell you only once to lower your weapon. The LAPD, you say? Is it really possible you could have found me after all this time? How interesting. Put down the gun, shitbird. Last warning. This boorish ignoramus could never have found me. It was you, wasn't it? Do you 
Remember me, detective? The temp bartender. Yes, you found me. You know what I'm capable of, and yet you walk in here like lambs dressed for the slaughter. We'll see about that. So that right there is the, the temp the temporary bartender. Where did he go? Where did he go? Down the tunnel? We can't let the son of a bitch get away. The house, Rusty. There must be another entrance into the house. Alright, let's take okay, let's take the left. Let's take this side. Maybe this way can take give us somewhere. Hopefully. Yeah, let's go to the house. LAPD, give yourself up. Hmm, there's nothing in here. Hmm, there's absolutely nothing. Is there a way down here? Let's go to the other side. No, man, it's so dark in here. I can't. Even, I can't even see anything. Let's say, let's go back up. Oh my God, not again. Let's go to the other side of the... This way. Let's go straight ahead. No, that's not even a doorway. Alright, let's... I think we're, we're on the right way, I believe. Just maybe I didn't... Alright, let's go to the left of the altar. We're looking for an altar. Alright, we're good. What's this? All right, his murder weapon. If we could bring him in alive, there's enough physical evidence for an airtight case. Let's see if we can do that. You heard him, Cole. He's fucking nuts. What are the chances of hauling him out of here alive? It's true. Whoa, a bloody bath. That's that's not pretty. You realize this must have been the place, Rusty. Anything else we could find? His tools. I hate to think what he's done with this thing. What the hell? This is scary. What's this? Medical experience, maybe? At least some working knowledge of biology. Nah. He's cruel and he's methodical. Yep, pretty much, Cole. Anything else? Is that it? Let's Going head down, down there. Right, let's kill Garrett Mason, but let's I'll see if we try, we try to shoot. Call for backup. Keep an eye out above ground. Whoa! What was that? You're an interesting man, detective. Why the police force? You're obviously overqualified. Where's he at? Damn it! He got me! Uh, they, you know, I'm just gonna kill him straight. I don't think there's Going no way we can get a clean shot at him. Come on, let's I'll go. go. Call for backup and keep an eye out above ground and see where the. Whoa! Come on! Uh, I gotta remember the layout of this You're place. Interesting man. Why the police force? Almost had him. Oh damn! I almost had him. Come on. Do I get a sense you're looking for personal redemption? You think we have some Come on, reload. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Alright, we press. I had him, I shot him. Let's keep let's reload. He went this way. I need to get a Damn, I could have I got a good clean shot on him. Where'd he go? Surrender now, or I will use deadly force. Did he, did he go this way? Are you comfortable out of the light, officer? Are you comfortable here? <laughs> this thing has come to an end. Come on, you know let's that. go. Oh, let's go. Come on. He went this way. I can hear his footsteps. I got him. How's he not dead yet? Exactly At least injured. We were looking for a low achiever. I guess that's it. Where's the press, Gap? 
I think Phelps and I should get a medal for this. This has got to be the case of the year, right? The case of the century when you think about it. Are you finished? Yes, Skipper. Good. Because there won't be any press briefings or commendations. What are you talking about? We got the werewolf, the guy who killed the Dahlia, killed all the other broads. You've got no one. Mason was a ghost. Can you at least tell us why, Captain? Mason is the half-brother of one of the most highly elected officials in this country. How high? Beyond the moon for mere mortals like us, Rusty. There'll be no more mention of him. The city owes you both. But there'll be no mileage in ever bringing this up again. What's going to happen to the suspects in the cases, Captain? I won't be a part of that. A bit of missing evidence at the grand jury. A procedural error here, a mistake there. They'll all be quietly let go. The DA knows how we have to play it. So that's it? I'm afraid it is. And I have some news for you, Phelps. No more rooting around in the entrails of cadavers and corpses for you. The head of vice has asked the chief for you. I'm reluctant to see you go to the glory boys of that vice, but my hands are tied. Go home to that lovely wife of yours. Celebrate your promotion. The quarter moon murders. We got all 15 clues with no um with no no questions. So okay, homicycle for you actually have ring your promotion. Prepare for a recycler. Let's read the case notes. The case for the black dot remains open. The truth loss is all but a handful of men. So I just realized something. All those suspects that we arrested the last couple of cases, they were innocent. And it turns out that Mason was the person. Who was responsible for all those killings and not all those guys? We you know that they're, they're bad in their own ways, but I think they were definitely innocent. So it turns out Mason, the temp bartender, was responsible for those killings. So this shocks me. But now we just um how you say it? Um now we just finished up the homicide desk. We're now getting promoted to the vice desk. And question is, why did the chief of vice desk end up um, calling Kofels to get promoted? We're going to find out soon in the next video. So let's go ahead and um, wrap, this, wrap this up here. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs like new here and to subscribe. This is L.A. Noir, uh, Homicide Death, case number 15, The Quarter Moons Murder. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to the DHC Network. This is Detect DHC saying, signing out. Breathe out, kid. You'll go purple. I'm scared, Sarge. Everybody's scared, kid. Anyone who says he isn't is a damn liar. How many times have you been in combat, Sarge? I was with Raider Battalion on Peleliu my first time. Was it bad? It's always bad. Will this be bad? As bad as it gets, kid. But you stick by the Marine next to you, and he will stick by you. So, some of the guys, they aren't very friendly, Sarge. They've lost a lot of their friends in the last couple of days, kid. They think if they don't get to know you, that they won't have to grieve for you if you get killed. They're wrong. It doesn't work that way. Don't worry. No Marine in this company will let you down.